The next section is typically a, a summary of the different accounts that follow. Normally it'll break it down into installment and, and um, uh, revolving type of accounts and it'll show totals um, in general. Now, you know, I'm not sure how valuable this section is typically for credit repair efforts, but just so you can be aware of it. The next section that you're going to have, and this is typically the most important, um, is the account history section. And this is where it's going to show creditor by creditor what your account history has been with each of those creditors. And it's going to show um, all kinds of information in this section. And again, depending on the type of credit report format it is, it'll be varied a little bit. But in general, it's going to show how much you currently owe, if anything. It'll show like the current balance. It'll show the high uh, credit limit for that account. It'll show any times that you've been delinquent and for how long, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days. It'll tell if the account has been charged off, so they gave up on you and they just let it go uh, to a collection agency. Um, it, you know, it'll tell if it was included in a bankruptcy. So there's all kinds of different information that's going to be included. You need to look at each of those single accounts and make note of any problems with the account. So for instance, if you know for a fact that you owe $12,532 to an account, but they're showing that you owe $12,782, um, that's an inaccuracy. And that's something that you can object to. We're going to talk about that later. So, you know, I want you to record that. If they say that you first became defaulted on this loan in January 2012, but you know for a fact it was, you know, December 2012, that's something you need to list. That's wrong. If you says that it was included in bankruptcy, but you never filed bankruptcy, that's wrong. Uh, if it says it's a collection account, but you know it's not a collection account, that's wrong. These are all the things that I want you to look through, item by item by item by item. And you're like, well, that's really tedious. Well, you know what? This is what's going to give you the ammunition as you go forward to raise disputes. And can you get rid of accounts on your credit report? Absolutely. How do you do it? Fighting inaccuracies, exp complaining about those inaccuracies, and hoping that they get removed. And we'll talk about that in great detail. But for now, I just want to give you a hope as to why we're doing this. Look for every single type of inaccuracy in this thing. All right?